Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use this brand new nested timeline feature that you can right now use in Vegas Pro 17. It's a feature that Vegas Pro actually released with this latest version of Vegas Pro. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and obviously, as always, let's get started right after the intro. So, as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 17, and basically, I'm gonna explain to you guys a little more what nested timelines are. It is the ability to import an entire .vegas file, you know, the project itself, into another project. So it's gonna be really, really simple. I'm gonna also show you guys some clips throughout the video of Vegas Pro itself, of their channel, to give you guys a little bit more insight of what it is, what it can do, and what it's for. Right now, we have two clips. We have one of this awesome shot, as you can see, above New York, and right here, we have, I'm um, kind of like a you know like a prototype intro i was creating a while back what you want to do basically first of all is to create a nested timeline so as you can see at the bottom the, the button for nested timelines is not clickable and that means we don't have anything selected so first we're going to click right here and we're going to hold control on our keyboard and then we're going to also select this clip so we're gonna first we're going to put them to each other then we're going to both select them and then as you can see the button at the bottom becomes clickable now we're going to click on here and you want to basically give this a name let's call this for example nested one and if we click on save Vegas is gonna prompt another box and that's basically gonna be your parent project so right here we have also nest one untitled timeline.veg so we're gonna click on save as well so as you can see right now both clips are just separate and just as you can see nothing changed that much so what we want to do is select them both and then we want to click on this button at the very bottom which says open parent timeline so we're gonna click on there and as you can see right now both clips get shrinked into one so if you play it back as you can see they're just you know onto one another so let's say they have you for example like 30 clips and you don't want to move them all, all like one by one you can just highlight all 30 clips then you want to click on create nested timeline and then you can just give them a name and then they will all just be into one clip and it's way easier to drag them around because right now if i play it back as you can see they're just one single clip and that is basically how to create this nested timeline now right now i'm going to show you guys a little clip of the video so you guys understand like what it's for check this out Click the open parent timeline button. This takes you back to the main timeline and you see that the timeline now has only one event. The event on track one leads to the nested timeline that you just created. You can go back and forth between the parent and the nested timeline anytime you like. To drill back into the nested timeline and work on that timeline further, click the event to select it and then click the open nested timeline button. You're back in the nested timeline and ready for editing. Trim the right edge of the second event to the left to make it shorter. Now click the Video Effects tab. From the list of effects, choose something extremely noticeable, like Swirl. Drag the default thumbnail onto the first event. Close the Video Event Effects window. These edits demonstrate that you can edit the nested timeline however you like. Click the first event and notice that it shows up swirled in the Video Preview window. Click the second event and notice that it's displayed normally. Click the Open Parent Timeline button to return to the master timeline. Click to place your cursor within the beginning portion of the event on track 1 and notice that you see the swirled clip you created in the nested timeline. Also notice that the event now has a loop point indicator. This is because you made the nested timeline shorter by trimming off some of the second event. Vegas Pro sees the nested timeline as it sees any other media and as usual, if the event is longer than the media it holds, by default it loops the media back to the beginning. And that's what's happening here too. Trim the right edge of the event until it snaps to the loop point. Start a new project and add three clips to it, but this time make sure one of the clips is on a separate track. Now select all three events and click the Create Nested Timeline button. A dialog box pops up to warn you that what you are about to do could result in unexpected compositing and audio mixing results. 
Anytime you create a nested timeline from events that span across tracks, you'll be warned of the potential of compositing and audio mixing yielding unexpected results. Because Vegas Pro has such powerful compositing and audio mixing capabilities, you have to keep these things in mind when you create nested timelines. If you don't want to see this warning in the future, select the Do Not Show Again checkbox. In this simple case, there will be no compositing issues to worry about, so click Yes and name your parent and nested timeline. Click the Open Parent Timeline button to return to the parent. Click the Open Nested Timeline button to return to the nested timeline where all three of your events still exist. Now to see the advantage of this nested timeline approach, quit Vegas Pro. In Windows Explorer, navigate to the location where you saved your main and nested projects. Notice that the nested timelines you created exist as veg project files completely separate from the parent projects. This enables you to share the nested sequences freely without sharing the master project. For instance, if you work with another editor who will handle a specific section of the overall project, for example, the introduction, you can create a nested timeline for the introduction and send him the veg file for just the introduction while you keep control of the master project and can continue working independently. So now you guys know like what it's for and how to create nested timelines. This is a new feature that released in Vegas Pro 17. If you want to undo this, you can just go ahead and for example, click on this one, open nested timeline again, and then both clips are just separate. So guys, that's it for this really, really short tutorial. I know this was just, just a couple minutes, but in this new feature, it is just so simple and so awesome to use. And it's not gonna take like 15 minutes to show you guys this. So a big shout out to Vegas, obviously, for including this feature. If you guys wanna pick up Vegas Pro 17, the link is in the description the very first one but guys that's it for this video i want to thank you guys for the support thank you guys for almost 300 000 subscribers we're going to go toward that milestone i think within this and just a couple months if i look at the sub counter and let me know if you guys would like to see another 24 hour live stream because two years ago we did one for 100 000 subscribers but i want to do something special than just a lot like a small giveaway at 300 000 subscribers so let me know if you want to have a 24 hour live stream we still need to gain around 26 000 so if you guys would like to share this channel that's also appreciated so we can get this goal much quicker. So guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.